Hello, Charles Bucks. How are you doing today? Hi. So what's the latest you're talking about here, the Embedded World? Embedded World this year has really been about the growth of Linux and security. We have seen a huge change in the last two or three years from where security was just talked about to where it's starting to be implemented in real products. That's been driven by OEM's need to produce secure devices that can be updated for their customers. This is mainly in the industrial, robotics, automation, and infrastructure space, but at some stage it will meet the consumer space as well. We're seeing huge demand of MCU customers moving from their current application layer into an MPU space where they'll need a heavier operating system like Linux. And so what Foundry delivers is the easy button for Yocto, easy button for security, which allows them to go and productize their devices six to nine months quicker with much more security. And uh, you've been executing and happening, this thing has been happening the last couple of years? We started the company five or six years ago. We were a spin out from Lenaro. We saw the need for a horizontal based Linux in IoT. The same way as we had a standard platform in the PC industry, the same way as we had a standard platform in cloud. Even when Android came out, that standardized where the mobile phone was going. Now we have something equivalent in IoT that is not just usable on one or two devices, but a whole swathe of major SOC companies that work with us to have a standard Linux across an industry platform through ARM and x86. And behind you, you're illustrating some of the, the stuff here that you're talking about? Yes. So if you look at the illustration and we start over this side, most OEMs start here with selecting their hardware and they'll go into their EVK and BSP through their development cycle. They'll then go, okay, is that right? And they could come back again. And they'll work through the BSP of the hardware vendor. That's quite simple to do. You can do tooling with that. You can do some pro uh, proof of concepts with that. The problem comes down when you want to go into your own hardware and you have security in there and you have to build in the tooling and you have to build in the testing and you start going around this cycle. Security is one of the th last things to be thought about and one of the hardest things to put in. What we do at Foundries is enable this whole cycle to be shortened because you're using the same code base from day one, you can choose multiple different chipset vendors. You have automatically built in the security. You have all of the Yocto layers that you can then customize to what you want. And as you go through the development and then into prototyping, it's the same hardware, like same software layer. And then when you go into production, it's the same code base again. You've used automatically what you start off with, what you edit, what you develop, what you produce is the same code base. You don't have to go through multiple iterations of proof of concept. And then when you go into maintenance, you have a full CI, CD, DevOps cloud giving you daily CVE updates with the full software stack from bootloader to Docker container on top that allows your device to be over the air updated with the most secure over the air update possible for IoT all the way through the device life cycle for 10, 15, 20 years. It's, it seems like a all encompassing, like it covers everything and you, you manage to do that. You manage to provide a platform that just writes everything. We are probably the only platform that goes from bootloader 
through to Docker container, through to OTA, that allows OEMs to be very flexible with their SOC, to be very flexible with their cloud. We don't tell people where to put their data. We are cloud agnostic, we are SOC independent, but we add all the latest security from all the latest vendors. So I've been going to the embedded world since 2011, and so all the embedded world has been having troubles yeah. in the security, and you're bringing that to the next level. We're making Yocto and security easier. Security is never going to be easy. It has to be multi-layered, it has to be improved every day, every week. That's why we do maintenance and OTA, to make sure that all the latest CVs are available, fully tested on your hardware every time you need it, so you can update your product in the field. This is almost unique in the industry. And potentially, IoT devices will be updated forever, potentially. When they sell a really cool product, thanks to your technology, it'll be just forever. You secure. can have updates as long as we keep the DevOps platform going. As long as you buy us, we will keep updating it because it's automatically generated for you. Nice. All right. And here you have some demos at the booth. Yeah. Let me introduce my partner, Raul. Hi. Raul, do you want to do a couple of demos? Sure. Hi. Well. This year at the Meta of the World, we are not bringing devices, but we are using Kimu because, because we have a large, plat large number of platforms we support. We decided to use Kimu, and that's enough for illustrate what we have. So, so what do we see here? This is some of the platforms we support. I will play the video so it will switch to another view where we have more platforms. So we have, I see NXP, um, I see Arduino, uh, NVIDIA. We have a bunch of devices we already support out of, out of the box, and the customer can always add their own device to the factory. Let's go. And like, just pick one and it's fine. Like, you can get, get started with us. Well, we work with the Toradex, all the different boards. Yeah, we work with Toradex ST, TI, NXP, a bunch of NXP as well. And then, like, our demo this year is basically we have tr three stations at the booth. Each station has their own key move, and we can see the factory, which is a very good view on the CI CD that we provided to the customer. Like we can see all the builds we have done for that factory. We have the platform and the container builds here in that that view, and then we can also see the devices connected to that factory. You have this three station with three devices, all the devices following the same tag in the latest version, and also we can check which application is running on each device. Well, if you go back here to the device, one of the cool things we are demonstrating here is this is our device. It's running five different containers. And it's cool that I'm, we have a container running Flutter and another container running Qt. This is to show the beauty of container and the ability to isolate it one from each other. So this is the Flutter application running one in one container. And then as we, I will switch to another application. This is our COG browser showing our website. Switching again, I have Qt. So this is all running the same device. It could be done on iMac, on TI, or any device. And yeah, this so is you're switching. Yeah, I'm switching containers in the same device just to show the ability of having multiple containers running the same device. Is that uh, uh, something many people want to do as a brand new idea or? Well, we, we have customers asking for how they can have, for example, a browser and a Flutter in the same device, things like that. And this is where container comes up and help a lot. And also, most of our customers is using containers for developing as well because gives you the ability to isolate it from the base operate system, and then you can keep updating your base operate system moving forward and get all the latest version. Nice. What else are you talking about here at the booth? Well, let me see. We have, like, the video I was showing before, show all the, the 
30 minutes getting started you have like so if you come by by the booth we can give you like uh, in four minutes how is the first half an hour playing with factory in four minutes like a, it's accelerated video so basically we are showing these and all the problems we have that Ian already covered today all right and uh, the three the three stations the, basically the same, the same so it's more station for we can, so we can help more customers and what kind of discussions do you have here the embedded world people come and are very interested to get well get start with the people talking. who are working with Yocto and they, with they always need like over there updates and security they come by and say hi and try to understand what we offer and basically most of the conversations around Yocto, around security, around container as well, and that's more our focus. This, this is why. Cool. All right. Thanks Thank a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks.